Today we're going to take a real detailed, up close look at how to MIG weld a patch panel into place. We'll be welding with a MIG 205 DS, and here's a quick look at the settings for automotive sheet metal right around 20 or 22 gauge. We have it set to MIG, 0 0.023 inch wire, 2T for the trigger setting, and the temperature is set at 55. Here's an up close shot of what your spot weld should look like. On this patch we cut it in a way so that we can butt weld it right there. Right here we can butt weld it so that we have a nice edge. So this gets butt welded, bang, right there. That's very important right there. And we're going to clamp that into place back here. And hopefully that doesn't move up there. There we go. We got that. And then I'm going to put one down here. And this is going to be our first weld. Right? Well, we don't want to go, well, we can put it right there, right right here, but I'm going to start, I'm going to put one right here, right there, first. And I'm going to go zap, 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 and try to get that edge. That edge is always a little bit difficult. So if you warm it up and you go zap, 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 you should get that edge real nice. Then, the next thing we'll do is just, We'll just push it in a little bit and push it in by hand or with a screwdriver and we'll put one right there. Then maybe right here and so on all the way down. Then you can go right here, here and split those, di those distances and then here, here, here and here. And then start filling them in. Now you can go bang, 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 bang. Then maybe move over here. Zap, 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 zap. Then back over here. Zap, 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 zap. And over here, alternating sides. So you don't have any excessive heat in one spot, which can distort the metal. While editing this video and while welding the patch panel, I wasn't really happy with the sound of the welding process. I was annoyed by the little squeaky sound. After comparing it to the Miller, I noticed that the wire speed on the Yes welder was slower. By turning up the amps, which increases the wire speed, and adjusting the voltage setting, that fixed the problem, and it felt and sounded a lot like the Miller. When welding, you can put the cone right down on the work. And you can use this, this edge, as a guide. So we're gonna set it right there on that edge, 45 degree angle, and zap it. And that's good for our first weld. Now it's warmed up, we can just go zap, 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 and hopefully we'll get that edge. And that's good. We got the edge nice. It was nice and heated up. We were able to get it. And now we're just going to hold it in by hand, making sure that the metal is right on top of each other. We're going to put one here, here, and here. Now 
Now we can alternate and fill in the gaps. And that's it for the welding. We're ready to grind these welds down just a bit, knock the seam down, and fill. I hope you enjoyed this detailed explanation on welding in some new sheet metal. If you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.